Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off your hot and cold water supplies. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Whirlpool washer fill hose. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new fill hose that includes the washers. The fill hose carries water into the washing machine. The main reason you'll be changing it out is if it's damaged, you're getting water leaking on the floor. In order to change the part, we're going to go to the back of the machine. Now that we're on back, we're going to put a towel down to catch any water that may come out when we take the hoses off. This fill hose is sold individually, so if you're changing out both, make sure you buy two. In order to get the fill hoses off, we're going to use our pliers to loosen them up. Once you have them loose, you can just unscrew them by hand. Now that we have the hoses off, you want to make sure that you clean the screens in the water inlet valve. That way we don't have any problems with water flow when we put the new hoses on. Now we can take the fill hoses off at this end. You want to make sure you move your towel over to catch any water that may come out. We're just going to use our pliers and take them off. Here's the old fill hose next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To hook the new fill hoses up, we're just going to line them up and screw them down. Once you have them snug, we can tighten them down with the pliers so we don't get any leaks. Now that we have them hooked up to the wall, we can hook them up to the machine. To hook up the new fill hoses, you want to make sure that you get the hot water to the hot and the cold water to the cold so you don't mix them up. As you're putting the new hoses on, you want to make sure that you turn them carefully and don't cross thread them. You don't want to damage the water valve. Once you have the first one snug, you can grab the pliers and tighten it down. And then we can put the other hose on. Now that we have the fill hoses on, we can plug it back in, turn the water back on, and take a first spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.